Hello, it's Blaine here, ready to announce book number 26 for Bedtime in the Public Domain. And this is one that was honestly a bit of a surprise to me. I was scrolling through Project Gutenberg, and just on a whim, did a search for a particular character, and found this. This was originally published as The Curse of Capistrano. It was a five-part serial published in magazines written by Johnston McCulley. That was published in 1919, and in early 1920, a young up-and-coming actor was worried that he was going to get pigeonholed as the romantic lead and get typecast, since that was the kind of role he'd been given time and time again. So he went looking for something different that was a better fit for his sensibilities, found this novel in the magazines, got the rights, and adapted it. One of the first things he did was rename the Curse of Capistrano, and when that series was republished as a single volume following the incredible success of the movie, that novel took the title of the movie instead. So this became The Mark of Zorro. It's a 39-chapter novel, which is one of the most fun books I have read in years. So next week we are going to start The Mark of Zorro, the novelization version published following the movie. Now, the movie itself from 1920 is also in public domain. There's an excellent quality print that has been uploaded to YouTube. It's been a while since I've seen that, but that was also a lot of fun. So if you enjoy either this book or that movie, you can check out the other one. So join us next Monday as we start The Mark of Zorro.